man. Antelope man. Oh, you're beautiful. There's the setup. Getting some hot water going. Camping. Hi there, Coach Shade here out in the wilders. Uh, we're camping in Lost Creek. What is it called, babe? Lost, Lost Creek Wilderness. I checked my hair this morning. Did wake up in the tent. Uh, but yeah, we're out here in the wilders by the Colorado Trail going for a run today. But I wanted to do what I eat in a day vlog. Uh, so starting with breakfast. Woke up in the morning. It's nice, sunny, and warm. It was pretty cold last night. It may have gotten close to freezing. But we're up here at altitude, uh, not sure what altitude yet, but heating up some hot water for some instant coffee. I got Starbucks Via instant coffee, as well as uh, some carbs. I'll eat some waffles, waffles. Uh, I'll link to show you what I'm gonna eat with some maybe some trail butter on it. Uh, so something sweet in my coffee. Let's get started. This is gonna be our summer shower for later. It's got a solar heater. Well, it's just reflective, so it'll heat up some water so we can rinse off. Because uh, the creeks the creeks and the rivers out here are pretty cold, so I don't know. Might use it. So what I eat in a day, camping edition. Uh, yeah, I'd, I'd use Starbucks via. I think it's actually really good instant coffee. I get it in focus here. Um, but then, yeah, we'll do some waffles with some trail butter on it uh, with the coffee. Had some chunks of broccoli in there, actually, because the... The hot water from last night, we had broccoli with our pasta, and there's still some residual broccoli, but that's okay. We're going to outline what we eat for dinner today with lunch and dinner. Alright, so there we go. I got my waffle uh, with a spelled with a V. It's an authentic, plant-based, Belgian-style waffle, uh, boulder-based company. You could order them online. Check out the website. It's a sponsor plug, as well as trail butter. Put some trail butter on top, actually. They're really good by themselves, but... Uh, a little extra protein and fat and calories for this trail run um, as, a, as a whole meal, as breakfast, uh, with my coffee, uh, which is sweet. And I'm embarrassed I don't have a disposable. We forgot our uh, camping utensils and camping plates, so I'm using actually using a paper bowl. But, uh, yeah, trail butter on top there, really good. Let's chow down. All right, so unlike my crappy frozen waffles, uh, this is actually a really nice doughy texture, like a pretzel like texture, so authentic Belgian style waffles. It's good. All right, guys, I'm actually gonna have a, a bagel too. Save my other waffles for tomorrow. Precious cargo, those are great, great meals and snacks, but I brought a bagel, Dave's Killer Bread bagel. Put some uh, trail butter on it as well. Make breakfast pretty big this morning because we got a long run on the trails today. All right, prepping for our trail run on the Colorado Trail. Got the Hoka 1-1 Torrent. Check out my shoe review on that. Uh, great Charo shoe. And uh, yeah, Drymax Sage Runner sock. Check them out. Uh, Drymax socks, Sage Runner. What else could I sponsor, Pug? Oh yeah, Squirrel's Nut Butter. Anti-chafe cream. Gotta lube up. No chafage. All right, so some more gear we're packing here. I got the Vapor uh, Zach Nathan vest. Uh, nice little lighter pack. Uh, with some soft hydration flasks. We'll fill these, we'll split in electrolytes, spring energy electrolyte drink uh, for electrolytes, and then also take some Canterbury gels, of course. Hashtag Canterbury, uh, myspringenergy.com. Enter code SAGE for a discount on uh, my gel flavor product there. Uh, some extra water as well for the back pocket. And uh, yeah, hit the Colorado Trail now. to the Colorado Trail, the CT, Colorado Trail, here it is.
Check out these big old aspen trees. Getting closer to Kenosha Pass then, huh? Ah, hear that? That's the sound of gunfire. Out here in the Colorado wilderness. Can't escape the sound of gunfire, even out in these remote trails. If I get hit by a stray bullet, I'm gonna be pissed though. Hate the noise pollution. Don't wanna have to worry about getting shot. Had shotgun shells at our camping site as well. Came out here for peace and quiet in the woods. All right, so we didn't really get that close to Kenosha Pass. It's still ways up there. A great run on the Colorado Trail here today. Uh, we're just gonna turn around at eight miles here. A little more than eight miles. Uh, to make it a 16 mile run from where we got the car and uh, kind of near where we were camping. So beautiful trail, some good rolling hills, pretty high altitude. I'll check Strava data on the altitude. I think we're flirting with 10,000 feet or about 3,000 meters though. Up and down, so yeah, good high altitude training and a great sunny day to be out on the Colorado Trail. If I take a Canterbury gel, um, eh, I don't need one, but I could take one maybe 12 miles in or so just to because I like the taste and I get some calories in. But I've been drinking the electrolyte fluid in my uh, pack here, so that's good. Yeah, I'm running down a dream. Never would come to me. Might be a clip over there. Working on a mystery. Bar, eat treat. What flavor is that? Cool. Yep. Nice. Good calorie source. Great view here. Look at that. So yeah, with the nutrition, uh, Spring Energy Canterbury. I'll take one every 20 or 30 minutes during a race, especially you know marathon, ultra marathon. Other factors, though, is to consider the work output when you take a gel. You're drinking some calories too. The Electroride Spring Energy drink, uh, about 80 to 90 calories per pack, but. Yeah, you're taking a gel, maybe the work output is four miles or five miles, but you know, if I'm at high altitude and I'm climbing uphill, then maybe I take a gel every three miles because that it might take 30 minutes to go three miles, something like that. It also depends on the length of the race. All right, nice. Where are the fish? Fishies. Ooh, nice run. Back at the campsite. Uh, the solar panel's going, charge up the phone and the headlamps. Uh, what do we got for lunch here? I brought a salad, beets and nutritional yeast. That looks healthy. Bonds I'm going to have to steal some of that lettuce from my sandwich. I also got some grapes in here. All right. Garbanzo beans on my bread. Those grapes are refreshing. Uh, a little bit of garbanzo beans, sandy salad, but also put on my bread to make a sandwich since I was an idiot. I didn't bring any hummus. But I'm also gonna have some chips. Baby Blue's Red Hot. Not the most healthy. And an Izzy. Uh, plus a lot of water. Good to hydrate up here. Altitude in the sun. Something though. All right, so there's lunch. Dave's Killer Bread with some garbanzo beans. Some of Sandy's salad. Definitely gonna have probably way too many chips. Those aren't the most healthiest, but they're really good. Yeah, I didn't bring hummus. Usually I bring hummus or an avocado for this type of sandwich or something, but I wasn't thinking about that. This is the life. This is the life. Great. Love it up here. Awesome day. Alright, so I did have some more chips from that. I'm trying to stay away from the chips. Uh, obviously highly refined oils, excess calories, but eating more healthy. Got some grapes, thanks to Sandy. Uh, fruit up. Yeah, finishing up lunch here. Staying hydrated. All right, afternoon snack time. I'm gonna have a waffle. Uh, these are really good, great uh, with coffee in the afternoon. Check them out, Boulder Base Company, plant-based, carb up. Nice uh, pearl sugar on there too, love it. Camping, camping fire, that's my main mission, get that fire going, keep it under control with a lot of water. Definitely need to be very careful with campfires at this time of year in Colorado. They usually put on a band, but what do we got cooking for, for dinner, babe? We have 
he didn't eat brown rice country wild brown rice what kind of soup we got there we have two of these boxes the two sweat two. super gel and then frozen on the little spinach frozen spinach in there too added uh antioxidants added veggies and what do we have to drink not an avery we ran out of avery that's the excuse here try new stuff kombucha beer kombucha beer that's a beer it's a legit beer i to try it with pills this is actually a competitor but you know, got to test it out. Competitor of Avery's, Oscar Blues. Uh, going to get more Avery though this week. Bring some to, to Europe. Then, of course, I'm going to have some chips, uh, some killer, some bread, along with my soup. Uh, we got fruit and grapes for dessert too, right, babe? Yeah, it always seems like the smoke comes into my face when I'm sitting here. But here's the soup. I uh, have a couple bowls of this. But you can see the rice in there, the detail. Good carb source, antioxidants, rehydrates. How is it, babe? Tastes good? Great. Yeah, you like it? It's good. Yeah, like I said last night, uh, we had pasta, which is a, always a go-to for camping. Lentil, red lentil noodle pasta with uh, some marinara sauce, frozen broccoli. Just add it to this pot, cook it up kind of the same way. It's actually cleaner to cook because you just use some water, boiling water, and uh, drain it kind of and have some bread and pasta. It's always good. So let's chow down. All right, so yeah, adding in some chips as well as uh, Day's Killer Bread, one piece at least with the soup. I was out of Avery, uh, no excuses, gotta pick up some more. This does not compare. It's not an Avery. It's not a, a Avery Joe's Pills. Uh, definitely like the, the Joe's Pilsner from Avery a lot better than this Pilsner. But, you know, Oscar Blue is somewhat local. Gotta scout out the competition. All right, serving number two. Finish off the soup. Uh, yeah, still eating some chips. I know it's not the best, but uh, it pairs well with the soup. Beautiful day out, really nice. Join the sunset, Sandy. Kind of a view over here. Going out on the Colorado Trail, right? 16 miles today, running. 19 miles if you include our, our night hike on the Colorado Trail, heading the other way. So, great, good stuff. Can't stop eating chips. Mm, more chips. Gotta eat some more chips. cap here while I was splitting it with Sandy. Uh, watermelon Kolsch, I think it was. Yeah, from a competitor of Avery's, Boulder Beer. But uh, yeah, I'll have an energy bar for dessert as well. Uh, not sure if you guys can see me. But that's a wrap on uh, what I ate in a day camping, camping edition. Uh, so yeah, pretty typical for a camping excursion. Uh, 16 mile day of running up here at altitude camping. Uh, trying to stay lean for the races coming up, but uh, thanks so much for following along on here Be sure to subscribe if you like these types of videos as well as uh, check out our playlist uh, Sandy and I coach Sandy and I sell training plans at sagering.com check that out as, as well uh, Hope your running is going well. Hope your eating is going well and stay tuned for more sage running videos Fire fire